Hello everybody. How's everyone doing? So I was looking at our lesson. Well, first of all, I should say, you know, I hope that you guys are doing well um, under the circumstances. So I was thinking about our lesson and trying to figure out how we were going to be able to do this. And what I was thinking is I forgot to bring um, a lot of the paper that I was supposed to bring. So I just took just any kind of random paper like this that I had in the house, printing paper in this case, to do my drawings. I decided that I was going to do four rather than just one piece. Um, now the picture that I gave you was to draw was Starry Starry Night, which is a beautiful illustration of what the painting actually looked like. And it is a print and it was something that um, Vincent van Gogh did um, when he wrote to his brother to talk about, you know, how beautiful the night sky was. And also, you know, to talk to him about the painting that he was doing. Now, when we look at this drawing, when we draw this painting, I think almost everyone has seen this painting. I don't know that there are very many people that haven't. And if you don't know about the, the painting or the drawing, you do know something maybe about the artist and who he was, whether he was a tortured artist, whether you know, um, whether you know anything about, for example, his life, his paintings. There's almost somebody or anybody or a lot of people that know something about Vincent van Gogh. Um, he was a Dutch artist and he created this painting in 1989 at the time when Let's see, uh, uh, cars were being first sold, when the Eiffel Tower was being built, um, and also when there were some of the very first skyscrapers that were being built also. Now his brother, who um, Theo, supported him not only emotionally, but financially, and it was him who, um, you know, sent him money to continue to draw. He was a rather tortured artist and often, you know, misunderstood as we know, right? This, what you're looking at and what you're drawing is a night scene. And a night scene that, um, well, you know, I think that, that rather than talking about how this guy looked or what he thought he was looking at, you know, talked about, for example, how the night sky might have felt if you wanted to touch it in some way, you know. Um, it comes alive, actually. It's a night scene that comes alive in the fact that, or in terms of the way that um, the lines are moving or the sky is kind of looking. There's some physical turbulence in the drawing, and we can tell because, well, the way that it appears to look. And some people think that it's a, it's a drawing that depicts, for example, how he was feeling or how he felt. It's kind of like a dramatic skies, right? That illuminate. There's physical turbulence in it. And of course, it's hard not to like and hard not to kind of keep looking at it. Um, the swirls represent the wind and that's what I wanted you to look at is to look closely for example at all those beautiful textured lines because what we know from Vincent van Gogh is that he loved to create all of these different textured lines it's kind of like driven emotion you know it's the way that you feel and by the way I'm using a sharpie you can use anything you want to you can use a pencil a pen whatever it was it isn't necessarily for example that it's accurate but more that you understand, for example, how all of these textured lines can create a landscape, which he was very much interested in. Now, in, in this drawing, you see kind of like the last little town that Vincent van Gogh lived in, and where he was also in a hospital, and not necessarily at his best. He is probably one of the most misunderstood artists and someone that, um, well, that a lot of people really felt compassion for. You know, the fact that he didn't sell not one painting. Well, there was one, really. But um, 
it's a beautiful piece and I think people really kind of get it. His life, his motive, his style. So all of those things are very important. You know, the misunderstood artist. By the way, if you're interested, there's a, if you're interested, there's a video that's called Loving Vincent. It's an interesting video that depicts, for example, how this painting can come alive through digital art. So um, have fun drawing it. If you have any questions, text, no, well, you can't text me. Email me and I'll be sure to, to answer you back as quickly as I can, okay? So have fun. And what I'll do is um, I'll keep reaching out to you guys. Uh, know that um, you can still make art and have fun and learn just by creating, okay? So I'm looking at my image here. And slowly, you'll see, it'll come together, okay? And like I said, use whatever materials you have. If it's pencil, then let it be pencil, okay? Whatever you want. Anyhow, have fun. I can't live without my coffee. And I'll see you on YouTube.